The Robot Babysitter is the second segment of the first episode of the first season of Mona the Vampire. And I have to say this is so much better than the first segment. The first segment being Attack of the Living Scarecrow. This is part of my mission to watch the first episodes of the shows that I grew up with. But I have to say, I wasn't so sure of this with the first segment. But having now watched The Robot Babysitter... I think I'm going to continue watching Mona the Vampire. I'm not going to binge watch it, but I will dip in and out of it, I think. I really enjoyed this second segment. Angela warns Mona about her new babysitter called Belinda. And when the babysitter arrives, Mona decides that she must be a robot who is receiving messages from Angela to be mean and nasty to Mona. And Mona and, and her friends try and stop her and try and short circuit her and overthrow the messages and basically bring her down. But what actually happens is really fascinating. And I won't say any more than that about the narrative, but I love the direction it took. I wasn't expecting it. I found it really insightful and, you know, really fascinating into the kind of narratives that the show can actually do. Because I can't, honestly can't remember that many specific moments for Mona the Vampire and, and this episode I don't remember either and with the first episode I thought the first segment I wasn't really sure it would be very well written but this gave me a really nice insight into the quality that might actually be in the future episodes. Very well written narrative, very well developed, great character, you know Belinda I think she was a very well written character, really enjoyed the development of this and, and Mona and her parents as well. Her parents had a great role to play. I love that she referred to her breakfast as, as brains and blood. And just little creative things like that. I'm looking forward to, well, I guess discovering. I was going to say rediscovering. But I really can't remember a lot of Mona the Vampire in terms of specific narratives. Really enjoyed the robot babysitter. A really strong narrative that was an absolute joy to watch.